Right. Well, I've managed to strip this side of the boot. That's all done. All I have to do is the centre. These seem alright as well. Everything seems alright on this side. There's a bit of a hole there. Uh, what I have noticed is, is that I'm sure these are called flutes. I think people, I've heard people calling them those. Uh, so somebody's just put a piece right on top so I can see all the spot uh, plug wells. So when, when I come to take that off, I can, I'm just gonna unplug well both. I'm not, I'm still not sure what I've got, I'm going to be doing. Uh, I've been working this weekend, so next weekend I've got some time off. What I need to do is uh, source a gas bottle for welding and also source some metal to uh, uh, brace it. I need to brace it. That's it, I couldn't think of a word then. So. I need to I need to find somewhere to get some metal. Uh, I need to brace. I need to brace the the car. I have been watching other uh, other videos on uh, YouTube, uh, and they've all been bracing it. I just don't want any problems with the car collapsing on itself. But before I even get anywhere near that, I've got to strip that centre. And I've got to take the sound deadening off the other side of this. I was going to cut that off just to have a look at it, but it's pointless really. I can't do anything with it. So it's best having the shell all nice and tough, straight, and then I'll do it. Uh, that took quite some time getting that off. It's really thick, I mean, at least I didn't have to do all this lot. But, uh, it takes a lot of time taking that off, but it's worth it, you know, because I found rust underneath it. Uh, and there's no absolutely no point in me doing this if I'm not getting rid of all the rust. So, it's a good job I have taken it off. It would be easy just to do the outside and leave the underneath, but this is where all the uh, all the rust starts, isn't it, underneath? Especially in these four sections. That's uh, quite corroded. Well, sure we'll deal with it when the time comes. I had to put that on there because it was ripping my t-shirt by bloody barbed wire. <laughs> so, next step is to get that prime tomorrow. Turn the car on its side, get that centre done. Turn the car over, get the sound deadening taken off. I'm not looking forward to that, I'll be honest with you. Uh, and then brace the car, and then I'm going to start cutting because I've ta then I'll have taken all the stone chip off the bottom of the car, uh, and then hopefully once I've finished, once I've finished the floor, I can actually start on the actual car, trying to get it back together. So that'll be interesting. I'd just like to make a shout out. to these two channels you know during 2020 in the lockdown if it weren't for classic mini workshop keeping me entertained for five weeks while I weren't working you know uh, if it weren't for this channel Keith Miller I would never have thought about doing this in my garage you know uh, thoroughly enjoying it it's bloody hard work but I'm enjoying it uh, and I'd like to say 
a shout out to Simpsons Classics because you know watching his videos watching classic mini shop videos watching also DB mini DIY is giving me the confidence to do something like this you know there's a lot of this that I don't know I'm a paint sprayer by trade so I've just painted cars for the last 30 years I've never panel beated I've never stripped engines out of cars I've never I've never had cars upside down I've never put back panels in you know and it's down to these guys on uh, YouTube who are putting these videos out every week that just give me the confidence so I'd like to say thanks guys uh, really appreciate it anyway that's me signing off for today Right, so I finished stripping all of that texture off that floor. Uh, I haven't started cutting anything yet. I've turned it over this way so I can take this trim off and that trim off and possibly start taking the scuttle off. I've got to take all the sound deadening off. I'm going to take it off those quartz panels. I'm going to take it all off the floor. Somebody started taking it off the floor anyway. Another thing I've got to mention is that both sides of this, you know, the heel board, so where you bolt in your subframe, both of the bottom ones have snapped. So it'll be a brilliant opportunity for when I get these off, I'll be able to get to those. And what I'll do, I'll, I've seen multiple videos where at that bolt up there I'll put the subframe back in I'll cut that bolt off and then I'll put a new bolt because it's going to have new bolts anyway so I'll put a new bolt in and then weld it to the frame I don't know I've got, I've got to when I take the, when I take the uh, sill off I'm also going to clean off the bottom of this clean off that because these holes here I want to block them up because the new wheel arches that go on might not be in that might not be in that spot so like I said I'll uh, I can have a look at that then corner so I want to leave that tape on because I've gone through about three pairs of pants since I've been doing this because these keep ripping off my ripping up my trousers So that's what I'm doing. It's not the best of lights in here. But well, you can see that, can't you? Even though it's got loads of paint on it, you can still just about make it out. 